Combustion reactions are the easiest reaction because basically the same thing happens every single time. Combustion means to burn, okay? And burn means to add heat and oxygen gas, okay? For instance, I can burn a metal. For instance, if I want to burn magnesium, I say magnesium plus O2 and heat. This is actually a picture of what burning magnesium looks like, and we'll do that in lab. Well, I have a metal and a nonmetal, so they just come together and make an ionic compound. And Mg is 2 plus, and O is 2 minus, so they make MgO. Okay? Don't just push them together and make MgO2. That doesn't work. You have to look at their charges. And then you go ahead and balance it. Okay? This one's a little harder because we don't know what the charge on copper is going to be because it's a transition metal. But in some ways it makes it easier because then I have to tell you what the product is. So copper 2 oxide. Cu is 2 plus and O is 2 minus. So it's going to make CuO. Okay? And then all you got to do is balance it. Why don't you stop and try to do sodium plus oxygen and see what happens. Okay? Burning sodium. Okay, hopefully you stopped the video and tried it. Um, Na is plus and O is 2 minus. So it makes Na2O. And then all you got to do is balance it. Okay? Remember, when I say stop the video and try it, it's good to try these on your own rather than just watching me do stuff. Okay? So that's what happens when you burn a metal. It's pretty easy. Um, the other thing we'll do is burn things called hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is kind of what it sounds like. It's a compound that has hydrogen and carbon in it. The nice thing about these is they always make the exact same products. They make CO2 and water. So you don't have to think very hard. No matter what the hydrocarbon is, you say plus O2 and heat makes CO2 plus H2O. Okay? So this is burning gasoline, actually, octane. So the only trick here is can you balance it. So start with the carbons. There's eight of them. So I'm going to put an eight. And then your H's. There's 18. So I'm going to put a nine. And then I'm going to look on the right side, and I've got 16 plus nine is 25 O's. Well, what can I put in front of O2 to be 25? Well, I can put 25 over 2. And it's actually okay to leave it like that. This is a perfectly fine balanced equation. If you want to, you can also double everything. Okay, Either one is fine. You can leave the 25 halves if you want to, or you can double everything so you have whole numbers. I don't care which one you do. Both of them are legal. Okay, So either way, you can do that. And this is down here in the corner is a picture of burning gasoline, unfortunately, in a truck. So let's try burning, this is called methane. So again, as long as I have a hydrocarbon, you always get the exact same products. I get CO2 and I get water. Okay, You don't have to think very hard. Now the trick is to balance it. One carbon, so one. Four H's, so a two. Two O's and two more O's is four O's. So I'm going to put a two there, and I'm all done. Burning one more. So I'm going to burn something called propane. Okay, again, you don't have to think very hard. CO2 and water. Okay. Three C's, so there's a three. Eight H's, so there's a four. Six O's and four O's is ten O's. So I got a 5. And that's all there is to combustion reactions. They're really pretty easy. I can also burn things that have not just carbon and hydrogen, but carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But the exact same thing happens. All the carbon turns into CO2, and you make water. Okay, so again, all you got to do is balance. 12 C's, so 12. 22 H's, so 11. So I've got 24 O's here and 11, okay? And I got 11 O's here, so I need 24 more here, so I put a 12, okay? Last one, and you can stop the video and try it if you want, okay? Make CO2 and water. 
So really the only trick to these is balancing. 6 C's, so 6. 12 H's, so 6. 12 O's and 6 O's. And I've already got 6 O's, so I need 12 more. So I put a 6. That's all there is to combustion reactions. They're the easiest type of reaction that we run across.